ones that I use extensively is the low risk process activity. These are the types of activities that help students build their understanding and, and uh, development towards a bigger project usually. For example, if I'm asking a student to do a uh, rhetorical analysis, these are projects that oftentimes students have not had a lot of experience with, so I try to build in a lot of steps along the way to affirm their development, to make sure that they are understanding the concepts, and to provide the feedback that hopefully will be used for them to complete the project successfully. Two things to keep in mind uh, that I always have to remember myself is that I need to make it crystal clear how these particular activities are building towards that larger project so that students see relevance, so that they can see it as more than busy work. Uh, the substantive feedback is also essential. The whole point is to get the formative feedback to be able to understand where they're grasping the information and where they are actually engaging in the material in an effective manner. And if they need to rethink things, this is the time for them to do it rather than after they've already completed the project. I've asked students to take on small steps such as the rhetorical situation activity where they read material about um, what the rhetorical situation is, they choose which article they're going to analyze, and then they um, actually engage in an analysis of the rhetorical situation. If you'll notice, it's only worth 10 points. So that would be one particular step that I do. But then again, I have to respond to that to make sure that they're on the right track for when they go to the next step of developing their rhetorical analysis, when they have to consider the rhetorical appeals of Logos, Pathos, and Ethos. So in this case, I've got a discussion forum where I've asked students to look at a video and to read material. These are OER materials and then have them do an initial post that talks about what they see as the claim and the reasons and the strategies um, used as part of the logical appeal and whether or not there's any logical fallacies and then what emotional appeals seem to be the writers seem to be trying to evoke for example so again that's something that i need to respond to promptly and substantively to be able to help them to already have a huge chunk of their rhetorical analysis being built out in the notes from these types of activities.